What's up, guys? So this video is uh, in response to pretty much the last week. Uh, we've had some uh, pretty big events going on uh, that have happened. Um, first, we had the uh, two black men uh, that were shot, um, you know, and uh, all the outrage that came from that. Uh, and then we had the horrible, absolutely insane and, and, and unjustified uh, Dallas shooting against police officers that happened. And I just want to take a time to talk about that with you guys. As it stands with the shooting of the uh, the two men, I get the names ex escape me right now, but I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I don't have all the details yet. I have not been actively keeping up with every single piece of information that, that, that has come out. So I'm a little behind on knowing, on forming my own opinion, if it was a justified or unjustified uh, shooting. Um, we've all seen the... The stuff that came out immediately and you know we all have our knee-jerk reactions but i don't have all the facts yet and that's how i like to make my opinions or decisions i like to get all the facts first and then off based on those facts come up with a reasonable uh, uh idea or opinion of things and that is something that i need to admonish everybody everybody who can hear my voice who can see my face to do the same thing, please, please. You hear something terrible and sad, which is what these killings were. They're terrible, they're very sad. You know, these are people who, I, I didn't know them, but you know, they could have, they, they're somebody's sons, somebody's friends. Who knows if they had a, may, maybe more time, they could how, how they could have affected the world in general. But it's not gonna help anything or anybody if we have these knee-jerk reactions that elicit such a large and destructive response, it is okay to be angry. It is okay to, to have a reservation leaning a certain way. But <clears throat> for our actions to come from little to no information, that, that in 90% 90, 90 of the times, it's going to not turn out good for anybody. And I have to, have to, have to say for all those people that don't want to wait to get the information and want to just be riled up and want to go out there and do something stupid while not knowing exactly what's going on, you're hurting more people for no reason. And you are a part of the problem. Now, when it comes to what's going on and what happened in Dallas and um the motivations behind it obviously i disagree obviously those people are terrorists those people are not role models for anybody and should not be should not be held up as poster boys for any any cause now i'm sure as you guys know i have a healthy suspicion of the state i don't care if it's obama i don't care if it's bush i don't care whoever the next face is going to be that they give us, I don't trust the state, right? And I, a healthy trust, a, a healthy distrust in the state is fine. That's totally okay. That's that's the minimal, your absolute, finite, absolute minimal duty as a citizen is to just be concerned about the power of the state. That's it. So for somebody to have that is fine. And for somebody to want to, you know, make sure, go the right ways, right channels to make sure that that, that you know, the, the state police, which is a part of the state, uh, don't abuse their powers. There's the, There are so many examples we have. There are so many times in history where it has been done right and successfully and has yielded great results for the, us, the people. What happened in Dallas and what those people did is the exact opposite of what needs to be done. It's beyond the wrong thing to do. And it's just people who, who were riled up, who didn't have all the facts, who I think were, were just mentally inept to be able to channel their, their actions the right way. Young men threw their lives away. And for what? Were those the same cops that shot those other people that you were so upset about? No, they weren't. They were totally different people. You have no idea who those people were. They could have been good, upstanding people. You have no clue. You just got a gun and decided to take your anger out on a complete and utter stranger. Of course that's wrong. Of course that is not 
gonna yield your res the results that you're looking for. You just wanna kill white people? What kind of garbage is that? That's foolishness. That's nothing. That actively goes against what so many people have died fighting for. And I'm sure if you ask these, if you were able to ask these men, you know, who are some of who are some of their heroes? They'd say people like Martin Luther King. They probably say Gandhi. Who knows, right? If you want to get change, if you want to get the police to to be more cautious, if you want to to get um, you know the state to 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 not be just so willing to kill people, because and this is something I gotta say. It, it, to say that it's a black issue to be killed by the police is 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 just dismissing reality. It's being totally and completely separate from what is actually going on. It's to it's to it's to put your head in the ground and go la 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 la. That is that's what you're doing. The state kills indiscriminately. The state is a killing machine and it does not care who it kills. You want to say there's a problem with the state? With the force that it that that it that it uh, uses on the citizenry, fine. But if you're gonna say that it's just a black issue, that only black people are being targeted by police, that only black people are suffering by uh, uh, from 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 the over from the overpowered state, then you're you're delusional. You're delusional, and you're missing the point, and you're missing a very powerful tool that you can get to get the same result that you want. The same result. It's not gonna. It's not gonna not help black people if you say if if you're in the reality of the state is out of control against everybody. After all this time and after all the the, the 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 progress that's been made to see how many people are just so willing to use that hate to justify their actions to justify killing innocent people. Because they, like I said, they have no idea who those cops were. They don't know. Those people who did those, who, who, who did that Dallas shooting, they have no idea who those police officers were. They just opened fire. And w would it be strange to find out that some civilians were hit? I mean, they started shooting at a Black Lives Matter protest. What sense does that make? If you're somebody that wants to do something to help the community... And, and and let your voice be let your voice be heard that you know, you know these you don't agree with these killings that you think the police are out of control or that you just think the state in general is out of control there's much better ways to, to accomplish that one you need to actually direct your anger and 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 your actions not violent actions not violent actions okay you don't need to move your fist other than just to go like that you know while chanting something you should not be hitting anybody with your hand, with a bullet, with a rock, okay? Nothing. You don't need to make contact with anybody. All you need to do is use your voice and your presence, okay? People who make the policies that govern these police officers is who you need to be focused on. You don't need to be killing cops. You don't need to be going to Target and saying boycotting Target. I mean, you can if you want, but I think that's a very roundabout way of, of 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 targeting policies that govern the police I, I don't fully understand that logic but that's for somebody else and for a video for another time the governor the mayor the police chief though off, off the top of my head three people that actual real nonviolent protests towards them would yield results too many, too many people riled up on emotions are just directing their anger every which way. How about you do that? You know, talk to your mayor, protest at your uh, uh, police chief, your governor, make them political lepers, make it so their name is associated with this police killing. And I guarantee you, guarantee you, they will change. Something will be done. Something of substance that matters will be done. If you want to just go and kill officers and, and attack innocent police officers who were not a part of some shooting that you feel is unjustified, which you probably don't even have all the facts yet, you will not help anything. You will make things worse. You will make things worse. You will make things worse. If you kill people, you will make things worse. You do not need to do that. Direct your protest, which is a political action against political figures. 
have a clear uh, objective of what you want past or what you want, uh, who you want, uh, of what you want past. Have a clear objective of what you want past, or what you want done, and 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 protest until it happens. But all this killing of police officers, all this, all these emotions being turned into action every which way, it's not going to yield anything. And I hope somebody can hear this and, and see the logic behind it. And, you know, that can save somebody from doing something terrible. Anyway, it's your boy Godhand. And until next time, guys, I'm out.